Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Henry the Horse. So we'll be taking a look at their location, their gameplay mechanics, their backstory, and all that good stuff as well. And as always in these videos, I will just state that I'm not the biggest FNAF expert and everything I do say isn't really canon to the FNAF universe. Just imagine that this is like an alternate universe where we have like a different pizzeria, different characters, and all that stuff as well. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out our channel greatly and it also gives you guys an update on what we post next. Alrighty, well let's take a look into Henry the Horse. So before we get into our character concept of Henry the Horse, let's first take a look at their specialty themed Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria. So in our previous videos, we explored the jungle themed Freddy's Pizzeria. This place was home to Lester the Lizard, Penny the Panther, Gordo the Gorilla, Parker the Parrot, and lastly, Leroy the Lion. Each of these frightening animatronics had their own disturbing backstory that took place at the Jungle Party Pizzeria. But now across the country, in a new state, stood another branch in the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria family. This was of course, the Freddy Fazbear Funtime Farm. A farm themed pizzeria with multiple country themed attractions. There was the main stage, where all the characters would sing and perform. There was also the ball pit and play area. Then we had the indoor corn maze, made of fake plastic corn stalks of course. Next were the fun time stables, where guests would have parties and do other fun activities. And lastly we have the snack barn. This was where the establishment not only sold pizza and soda, but a wider range of candy, ice cream and other treats. The Funtime Farm was actually one of the rare Freddy Fazbear pizzerias that had an inbuilt snack lobby. So Freddy's Funtime Farm was open from 1981 to 1994. A number of unfortunate incidents have happened in this time frame. Fazbear Entertainment shamefully paid off officials and victims to keep these incidents quiet. They were never made public until now. So join us as we go through and uncover all the dreadful incidents of the Funtime Farm Pizzeria. The first incident we have involves the beloved farm character, Henry the Horse. So Henry the Horse was a member of the Funtime Farm Band. His role up on stage was that of the guitarist. They would play along with the other band members as they sang their jolly tunes. Now of course the animatronic itself didn't have the ability to play the guitar. They just simply moved their hands as a pre-recorded guitar played in the background. Henry also had a number of catchphrases including Come on everybody, let's get horsing about. And From all of us here, I hope you have a happy birthday. Henry was considered to be quite the crowd favourite. Now let's take a look into the design of Henry the Horse. The engineers designed Henry after the Clydesdale breed of horse. These horses are typically the breed you'd see pulling carriages and doing the majority of the heavy work on the farm. You could say they were quite the workhorse. To fit with the farm aesthetic, they gave Henry a straw hat, denim overalls, and a big pair of rubber boots. Now, the strangest thing of all about the animatronics at the Funtime Farm was their internal hardware and software. Each of these animatronic characters had a SimTech smart chip embedded in their skull. The SimTech smart chip was typically used for military grade projects. It was the closest thing to an actual AI at the time. It gave computers and electronics the ability to learn and adapt. How on earth a children's entertainment company got their hands on such an advanced technology will always be a mystery. But it definitely gave the characters more of a lifelike appearance in their movements and mannerisms. One strange myth surrounding Henry was that the company couldn't get the dimensions right to manufacture a metal horse skull. So instead they used a real one from one of the deceased prize winning horses from a local farm. This was never confirmed, but it was definitely a creepy rumour, that's for sure. So now, let's get into the incidents surrounding Henry the Horse. On one unfortunate day, Henry was performing up on stage. Unknown to the Fazbear employees, someone had spilt soda all around Henry's feet. The wiring and electrical work at most Fazbear pizzerias was shoddy at best. One of Henry's loose wires finally wiggled itself free and landed in the puddle of soda. All of a sudden, Henry received a massive electric shock. 
They began to heat up so much that their material skin started to burn off their body. The part that suffered the most damage was their hands. Most of their fingertips burnt away revealing the sharp metal claws underneath. With all the moving current and excess electricity, their eyeball also popped out of their eye socket. Although their popped out eyeball still worked. Fortunately for Henry's big rubber boots, most of their internal hardware and software was saved from being electrocuted. After the power was cut, Henry's body went into shutdown mode. Most of the power at the Funtime Farm was down for about a week. This also meant the establishment was closed for that week as well. After the electric shock Henry received, they were stored away in the maintenance room. After a day or two, Henry rebooted himself using his backup power supply. Although, unfortunately, their memory was wiped. As they opened their eyes, the first thing that they saw was all the photos of the different types of horses on the concept board. They saw all the horses running free in the open fields. The imagery of the horses running free in the wild awoke something in Henry. From that moment on, Henry was obsessed with getting outside. Considering the Funtime Farm had no windows and its only exit was the large front metal doors, this wasn't an easy place to escape from. The only way Henry could escape was by unlocking the front doors. This meant that he would have to acquire the keys from the security guard. Seeing that the keys were attached to the guard's belt, Henry would have to grab them off the player. But with those sharp metal fingers, they wouldn't exactly be gentle. Henry would clumsily slash at the security guard until the keys were free from their body. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of this character concept. Even though the pizzeria was shut for the week, they still needed security. When the player arrives at the security office, they hear the phone ring. They pick it up and hear a voice on the other side. Hey there, bud. Welcome to your first shift. I hope you didn't have an issue finding your uniform and equipment. Now, because it is your first shift, it's policy that I read a couple of things to you. Welcome, new employee, to Freddy's Fun Time Farm, where the fun times never end. As a new member of the Freddy Fazbear family, I am obligated to tell you that the Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for any damage to property or persons. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing persons report will be filed in 90 days or so, as the establishment has been thoroughly cleaned and sanitized. You hereby agree to the following rules, uh, regulations, blah blah blah. You get it. Nothing to be worried about. Alright, before you start your first shift, I just want to update you on a couple of things. Now, uh, it seems some prankster has misplaced a couple of the control panels from within the security office. Without these buttons, you're not really going to be able to do your job. So just grab your flashlight and go looking. They should be somewhere in the pizzeria. But, uh, a word of caution. We have caught Henry a couple of times, trying to escape through the front doors. How he's up and about is beyond me. He's probably using a backup power supply. Uh, but this shouldn't be anything you worry about, because sometimes the animatronics wander around at night. But if you do happen to see him, it's, uh, it's probably best to avoid him, okay? So just don't worry, and everything will be fine. Good luck with finding those buttons, and once you've found them, just plug them back into the console. Okay, that's all from me. I'll check back in tomorrow morning. Take care. So, like it was mentioned in the phone call, Henry has stolen a number of the buttons from the security office control console. He has placed them around the pizzeria for the player to find them. Henry plans to draw the security guard out by hiding the buttons. When Henry catches the player, they can finally rip the keys off them. So in this gameplay segment, the player would have to roam around the pizzeria in the first person perspective. Since the power is out for most of the pizzeria, the player would need to use their flashlight to see. The player needs to locate the four buttons that would be placed in various different locations. Once the player has located one of the buttons, they would need to grab it and then quickly hide. Henry will appear and try to ambush the player. Whilst the player is searching for the buttons, they would have to keep moving. Henry would be moving around the map constantly in search of the player. Once they've located all the buttons, they need to make their way to the safety of the security office. 
Once inside, this would finally activate the metal doors. This would finish the first night as they wait till the morning. But if the player takes their time getting back to the office, they would be met with a classic FNAF jump scare. Now I think Henry would be a great addition to our FNAF character concept roster. They definitely offer a ton of jump scares as they roam around and hunt the player. Alright everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, in the comment section down below, let me know what you thought of Henry the Horse, and also what you'd like to see going forward. Alright everyone, well, until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.